Now Swallow on block coming through to this very challenging part of the course. They're a little bit too far to the right and they've been pulled in by the stopper, but just managing to paddle clear. Back at Lucan, K1s, Malcolm Banks still leads Gary Meyer. Gary won fields biding his time before making a decisive break over the final stage of the race. Palmerstown Weir, the second big V Weir on the course. It awaits the K2s next. Then it's a relatively easy but long paddle to the finish. The big one, Palmerstown Weir, and the Tordoffs need to shoot this dead centre to keep out of trouble and maintain their lead. Well, nice shoot. That's exactly what they've done and through the standing waves at the bottom. Whitewater leader Michael O'Mara over Lucan. And here are South Africans Claire McKellar and Guy Collier and lucky to get away with it there. Sluice Weir, the racing Canadian doubles, Slade Warren and Paul Anderson and that's beautifully executed. Down at Rennes, Gary Meyer has got the break. He's gone down the V. Malcolm Banks is taking the slower and less risky course down the face of the Weir. And, well, he nearly lost it there. Chapel is it where the leaders have gone through. This is the second place crew, Melvin Swallow and James Block. Some of the top crews have fallen out here over the years. The English pair have not done that, but they have lost their momentum. They're facing the wrong direction, as we can see, and losing some valuable seconds. Well, here's an unusual approach to Wren's nest, and they're very much caught in the stopper. Connor Ryan and David Lynch. Oh, and they're gone at Sluice. Brian Newbert and David McAllister Hewlett here, and they're still caught, but at least there's help at hand for them. And here's Jonathan Folland, second whitewater paddler, and he's fighting his way out of the stopper, and he's clear. But no such problems up ahead for this crew. K2 winners Alan and Ian Tordoff approach the finish at Trinity Rowing Clubhouse and War Memorial Park. It's their fourth Liffey Descent title, the 17 and a half mile course completed in one hour, 48 minutes, and 35 seconds. Impressive stuff. Richard Essex and Andy Chumley of the Warren Canoe Club, they plunge into the stopper at Wrens. Battling hard to get clear, and here's Morris Maxwell, looks like he's in trouble, and Morris Maxwell goes out. Caught in the stopper there, and his race very much over. Jeffrey Hyde and Paul Weaver, they had a problem earlier on when they damaged their boat at Temple Mills. They nursed it ever since, but that's terminal. Their race is very much over. And here's Gary Meyer now coming home to win the men's senior K1 title. He looked to have the race sewn up early on, and then he damaged the canoe at Vanessa, but he came back well after losing the lead to win a good champion. So many foreign competitors, the Liffey Descent has truly become an international event. But where did the third-placed K2 crew hear about the race? We heard the, about the race from two South African paddlers called Graham Bird and Neil Evans. They did the race last year and they came second. They said it's great fun, so we did the race. Oh, it was totally different to what I expected. It was a great race. And the wheels, we, we haven't, we've got similar wheels, but not exactly the same. So the, the V was... New experience and it was really enjoyable. 
watched it for the fifth time back here and uh, I keep having a bit of a problem that uh, I come second more, more times than I'd like to. Uh, Alan and Ian from the same club have, uh, have done very well again today and cracked it from first again. Uh, it was a great race, great flood, really enjoyed it. My marathon racing is going really well, sprinting's hanging out. And then the big aim really is the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. You know, get there and make that final. You know, try and squeeze a medal if I can. Just the name of the game. That's what it's all working towards. Some very good crews, some very fit crews. Um, it was just a matter of keeping it all together. Uh, one mistake can lose the race, so uh, fewer mistakes the better. Will the K2 champions be back next year to defend their title and seek a fifth win? I don't know. <laughs> We, we thoroughly enjoy coming here every year. Uh, the Irish people are great to us. And, uh, the crowds are fantastic, actually. And they're shouting out our names, which is just great to see. And uh, So maybe, maybe we'll come back. And here is the Jemison Liffey Descent, Roll of Honour from 1995. Alan and Ian Tordoff taking their fourth title in the K2 class. Men's Whitewater won by Michael O'Mara. Paul Murphy of the Wildwater Kayak Canoe Club takes the veteran K1 title, while Michelle Barry celebrated her eighth title, her fourth in a row in the women's senior K1. Scottish paddler Cynthia Berry, women's whitewater champion this year. And of course, congratulations to everybody who completed what was at times a challenging and daunting course.